Oh, uh, what, the one for the water heater? Yep. Dude, that's a really small... I guess that's all you need, right, for the... that thing. What is that? I Expansion got another, tank. I got another one there. If you want it. Yeah, heck yeah. Uh, they were like... a hundred and some bucks. They are? And here's what we gotta do is this has a bicycle valve on it. Uh huh. Just push it down like that. Like I got like a a very little bit of air out of there. You did. Right now, when I just opened it, it was like, but then it was immediately water. So, so I think it's because it's pretty much a closed system. It doesn't. So you have to do that all the time. No, I did it once when I filled it, and then once like. A week later, but no air really came out of it. Yeah. And then, I think, that that was the next time I did it. One out, one in. Well, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the supply. The top and I got, and I, here's top what I did, supply. like 225 feet, 172 feet, 206 feet, 204 feet. 172, wow. Yeah, I got them all. Dining room. I need and these are all to be turns and you can feel the heat of going out. That's coming back. It's not that much different. What's the temperature say? Uh, that's going out, right? Yeah. So it's like a hundred and I don't know, fifteen. And then what's the temperature coming back in? Uh it's like a hundred. So this is how you control your zone? Yeah, but I haven't controlled them at all. I just... Just leave them wide open. Wide so open. you don't even need them? The valves? Yeah. I guess if you wanted to. I definitely didn't need two of them like like that, but uh, when I was making it, you definitely needed it. Oh, uh, right. Right, because like until I had all the zones in, I could run the zones. So you made it. this? Yeah. These are brazed. These are just... These little nipples, the the connector nipples, yeah, brazed in there. Where'd you get them? The Buy connector them nipples? No, Home Depot. They had them at Home Depot. Yeah, the little nipples. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm looking for a joint in here. Right? Wow, it just goes right back. So there's. So you got this on the second floor too? Only in the master bathroom. So that's it, huh? Just two pipes between each rafter? There's a loop. Dude, that boiler looks very similar to mine. Yeah. See, these are, that's the steam pipes. It's a steam system. So we have oh. one pipe to each radiator. Steam goes up, condenses, and runs back through the bottom of the same pipe. Right. And, you're, and this definitely knocks water m money off your... Bills for heat. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah. My electric bill jumped to like 400 a month, but I was burning like $1,500 of oil. Uh, now, I was running both of them, so I would say right. my electric was 400 and I don't know because I really did it kind of toward the but end. But it was of the definitely year. cheaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Plus, Chris, now I got the right. gas these, fireplace. These bays are a lot wider than mine. So you don't yeah, have to do like 21 in centers. Yeah, mine are much Dude, smaller. now what, let, let's say 15. you did yeah. twice as much. Would that save you even more money? I don't know because this comes on and off during the day because I keep the floors right at like 60. In the cold winter, I keep it to the floors at like right. 66. And I think that the air temperature is cooler, but you don't notice it because the floors are warm. So, so you really haven't had a full year on your no. belt yet? Nope. No, I'll, I'll know, but I gotta do something because... Okay, well, it'll be interesting to yeah. see when it gets bitter cold how, how, you, uh, no. how you feel about it. Well, I did have it when it was bitter cold, but I, I didn't have the gas fireplace there. I only had this right. and the... Oh, uh, so the... Years. So this and is just did, the... Like, stretched... Uh, instead of going to a, a tank in the month, the last bitter cold month, that tank lasts me through the end of the summer because it's also in domestic. But I won't get a true read because now I put the gas fireplace in, which really heats the whole front of the house. But 
the thermostat for the oil burner is one room away from the gas fireplace. So even if I turn that up to 90, that, that thing's never going to come on. Right here. It's very quiet. Why are you sinking in there? 125th horsepower. 110 volt. So this goes. What is the thermostat is wired yeah, in I got, series with the motor me. then? Exactly. I got a hot. I got just one piece of 14.2 going to the thermostat and then this piece of 14.2. I just got my neutrals connected together and the two hots to the switch. And then that comes to right here. Wow. And this is all Home Depot so too? Yeah. Uh, no. I bought this and that from, I think, that Johnson Supply. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, I really think, like, you get that whole air scoop thing. Uh huh. What I could have done was just taken, like, a piece of a T with a piece of pipe, like, 16 inches long, and put a valve at the top. Or just a 16 inch long piece of PEC sticking up in the air with a valve at the oh, top. Oh, to bleed it off. And then just. Where you go? And then for $6, I could have been doing the same thing as. That right, the air scoop because really, as the air travels through the thing, it's it goes up to whatever. So what does that do? It gets rid of air out of the line. Yeah. Yeah, the air goes well, up. Turns out that I don't really down, need it. Right? I mean, I I don't really need it. it like it, you know, like I said, if I had like a 12 inch or some kind of piece of pack sticking up with a valve, that would do the exact same thing. Right, this is just the automatic. Is it's supposed to, to be automatic. Right. Well, it's not automatic. You got to push that little bike valvey thing up there. You do. To release it. To believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I overdid this. Her dad so you're saying not even? A, what would he even need a valve for? It? Well, just to open it and close it. Why don't you just leave it open? Then, even with a piece of clear pack, you could see if there was air in there or not. So this is the clear packs that you got. Yeah. These little pieces. Yeah, I think there's some tubes. Oh, you did run some clear packs right here. Yeah, that's down in the basement somewhere. Which is better, the orange or the or the? The orange is what you're supposed to use. They say for the heat, but again, I'm not running the boiler at 165 degrees. I'm running the water heater at 120. Right. So I don't know that it's not worth either. the extra money for the orange. Because you're not running it as yeah. hot. Right. Right. Yeah, when I did, you see, like, over there was a cold spot, so I just, like, when I got the pecs there, I just did, like, a coil. There's a bathroom, the downstairs bathroom is under there. So if you duck under there and look up, I just got, like, three coils of pecs to increase the heat to that. Oh, oh, yeah. Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, that bathroom floor, well, there's always laundry on it, but if you put your foot under the laundry, it's starchy. Wow, dude, your, your uh, steel pipes are cold. You're not running the boiler then, right? Steam? Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's no steam. The steam hasn't been on since last year. Wow. Because it was inefficient or just because that's the worst thing No, it's actually the radios are a very efficient system. That's because they can actually feel the heat coming off of them. Literally not. Back in the day, fuel was so cheap. Didn't matter. You lived in the cold region, but yeah. So you can insulate little by little. You plan on staying here forever?
It's warm. Okay, so this is the return. Ten, so that's running about oh, 107 or something like that coming back in. And this is the supply coming out of the heater. That's yeah, about 115 or so. Huh. Very cool.